twig one and three to start the year is not ideal, but how are you feeling with the sides tracking at the moment? Yeah, it's been a tough start given that we've played Box Hill at Box Hill. I've had North Melbourne, Richmond and, and Footscray the last couple of weeks. And uh, I'm actually really pleased with how the guys have been progressing. Like we've had some uh, inexperience with our team, both a VFL list and AFL. And on the weekend of the nine AFL players we had in, eight of them were the first or second year players. So in that situation, they get exposed to some really good opportunities to play against good AFL opposition and in key roles. So Tom Sparrow is playing inside mid every week uh, with Corey Wagner and um, Bedford and Chandler are able to play good time as forwards and Jordan's have to play on Dan Butler last week, a bit of time on Kavara on the weekend. So in the situation, it's ended up working really well. We've, other than a really poor showing against Box Hill, I think our competitiveness has been really pleasing and I can't ask much more of them, just a bit more consistency over four quarters. Obviously, there have been a lot of injuries at AFL level, which provides a challenge, but are you happy with the VFL-listed boys that have stood up? Yeah, well, we've been able to offer a lot of opportunity. There's been up to 14 who have played over the last couple of weeks and what that does is give you a really good pulse on what you th- you know they can do. Sometimes in this job, you guess what they can do because they're playing local footy and you see them at training, but you don't know how they'll really go at VFL level. So we've been able to get some really good form lines on some players and we've found a couple. A couple have grabbed their opportunity. A couple have probably been a bit inconsistent, but that's the beauty of VFL season and an alignment. When you get the chance, you have to maximise that opportunity to consolidate your spot. And you touched on Tommy Sparrow. Also, the likes of Cade Chandler have been pretty impressive early. Can you see any of them pushing in for selection later in the year? Yeah, well, there's no cap on when they can play. I think Chandler's impressed everyone with his capacity to get to the drop of ball, be clean with that, uh, good awareness around goals. Sparrow obviously got an opportunity in the first couple of weeks. Last two weeks, I think he's taken some real steps forward in his development. And Jordan's the other one, I think, who's come from being a guy who couldn't get on Sandringham's list to then being on Oakley's list and then getting drafted. And we've got the confidence to put him on some pretty clever small forwards at the moment. And he's really... Uh, made some big inroads into his development with his contest work and we still think he's best as well ahead of him. So, yeah, those those guys have showed good development, but equally when there's more AFL players that come back who are conditioned and experienced, it might be a bit hard for them, but there's no cap on whether they can or can't play. Obviously another tough challenge this week against Essen. How important is it to bounce back and start getting some wins? No, there's no doubt we'd like to be winning, but that doesn't precede our focus in relation to how we develop this group of players, have them play the right way and uh, winning them the results are a byproduct, so there's no doubt the competitor in myself and the coaching group and the footy club would like to win, but uh, as long as we keep seeing our players develop and put in really strong competitive efforts and play the, the Melbourne slash Casey way, we'll be satisfied and we're pretty sure the wins will take care of themselves. Perfect. Thanks for your time. Good to you, bye.